treasured scripture teaches us to take heed therefore that the light which is in you be not darkness your whole body also is full of light but when it is poor your body is full of darkness hello everyone my name is james nussbaumer and i am the author of these great fabulous books of an ever developing series it's just beginning the first book is called The Master of Everything. It's a story of mankind in the world of illusion we call life. And its sequel is called Mastering Your Own Spiritual Freedom, Lessons from a Course in Miracles. Both books are sold all over the world. Isn't that neat? And uh, in stores everywhere. And published by Ozark Mountain Publishing Company, a publisher that I have a great relationship with. But let me start out by saying that if you've been following my many blog articles and and if you're a reader of my books, I thank you very much. And you and I have both come a long way, if you've been following me, since we began our look at the imprisonment of the world. And what I mean by that, as I also discuss in my books, I hope you are beginning to see yourself as the light of who you truly are. While you were listening, looking and moving along the road you've chosen to take while holding your heart in your hands, you will automatically penetrate deeper within yourself. A Course in Miracles teaches us, you must understand that the Holy Spirit, which is really your inner divine guidance system, will never teach you that you harbor sin. You are bound to nothing, which is what sin is. It's nothing. Errors we have all certainly made. Oh, absolutely we have. All these mistakes along the way, which the Holy Spirit will undo. This undoing is his task for you and will never make you fearful. You either are, you, you are either, look at it this way. You are either of the Holy Spirit or of the ego. The ego-based mind is that fearful and doubting Thomas side of us, that part of us that always wants to be judgmental, that part of us that doesn't trust and doesn't know how to trust. It certainly is, but you're, like I said, you're either of that part, which is the ego, or you're of the Holy Spirit. It's in, And, you know, it certainly is not the ego because you really truly are not of the ego. Is what I'm trying to say because that would be nothing and you are more than you are everything you are the universe so you're not nothing sadly though thanks to much of the world teaching us we were born with sin we are afraid to look deep within ourselves we are afraid to see the sin that we think is there we even admit this. Now, if we go deeper and deeper into ourselves, we'll find this. The ego feels comfortable when we accept ourselves as sinners. It becomes, it comes up with ways for making penance so we may be forgiven. But this is simply another way of giving or sacrificing in order to receive. The ego is not concerned if we feel ashamed because then it thinks we need its help. And the ego wants us always to be at its mercy. The ego is proud of our belief in sin and it surely encourages us to admit that we are sinners. The ego feels this is necessary so we may forgive or that so we may be forgiven. Our desire for sin is really what is really where the fear begins. But don't get the ego wrong. It makes no argument that it does not want to look within. Because if you do, it expects you will see sin there. Then you will go on to think that God will demand penance or that you will burn in hell. This is our choice, the ego tells us. This we believe because after all, is this not the way... It's always been since the symbolic Garden of Eden. It's no surprise that with this belief that we decide not to look within, this really is not what we fear. No, going within is really not what we fear. 
but what but but the ego tells us it is the ego tells us we're afraid to go it to go within but beneath our fear to look deep within because of sin there is another fear and this one worries the ego based mind more than anything what if you looked within and you saw no sin your ego at this very very moment is probably thinking what the hell is he talking about no sin well once you see once you see that you hold no sin your separated thought system which is the ego will not know how to defend itself once you have been able to see beyond the belief in sin by overlooking the elusive based mind you penetrate into your deepest depth and the ego starts to fade away that overlooking and going beyond is the true and real meaning of forgiveness in this light of forgiveness in this light of the real and true meaning for forgiveness of sins you will be joined with the whole child of god which is christ you may be asking yourself, well, how do I actually go this deep within? You know, it, it, it's easy. You know, we've discussed repeatedly in, in both of my books about your true essence as who you are, that place that holds and comforts your optimistic right-mindedness. It sits beyond and simply knows without having to analyze or dissect things. The ego likes to dissect and analyze and then form its judgments. Merely enter into a present moment, which a course in miracles calls a holy instant. A term that the whole that the course in miracles uses for you could say the now. Enter into the now because these present moments of now or these instants are holy in this divine area of your psyche. Just be your true essence, who you really are and nothing else going deep within yourself does not require some type of sedative sedative state the the um or or some kind of you know formal rituals uh no it doesn't but the easiest and only way to do this is to simply be who you truly are to operate from your true essence to tap into your true essence your essence not the essence that the world says that you're about to be simply who you truly are without an ounce of fantasy and regardless of any outside influence. This is where there is no sin. Errors, yes, but no sin. You only dream of sin. Now that you have acknowledged, now that you have not have acknowledged your inner true essence, who you really are, now that you have acknowledged this, you can detach yourself from the belief from, from the belief that your identity lies in fantasy, dreamed up by the separated mind, which is the ego. You are whole, you're not separated. You are whole with all of creation and the mind of God. This is where I have continued to find an abundance of strength, and so will you. However, when you're at this point, you're not yet fully liberated. There is still some incompleteness that has taught you to buy into the world's view of truth. A system for thought that tells you that you have to follow the path that the world has laid down for you or you will suffer eternally. That is what you have to come over. When you can overcome that and climb that obstacle, then you've been liberated. But you are now willing to look on much of your insanity and recognize its ego-based madness. Your faith is moving inward, past insanity, and on to reason. You are beginning to notice the world's great emphasis on the body as who we are, even of those who are no longer in a body. But now the Holy Spirit's purpose has been accepted by the part of your mind that the ego does not like and a part of your mind that the ego does not want to recognize because it fears it because it's the part of your mind it's the part of your heart 
the Holy Spirit is the part of your mind and the part of your heart that is true, regardless of what others tell you. Therefore, this free part of your mind, which you can now identify with, is not afraid to look even deeper and go deeper within. You now find that within all this depth, you are sinless. You're at your deepest part now, and you find that you're sinless. And this is why you can now see the Holy Spirit from these depths. You, now you can see the Holy Spirit's purpose as your own purpose. This is wholeness. No separation involved there. It's who you are. It's your true essence. Thank you, everyone, for listening to me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is down below. Uh, hit the subscription button. Help my subscribership. And if you're at my blog site already, um, where you're watching this video and, and reading the blog, I appreciate you following me. And I encourage you to leave me comments or questions. I really encourage it. Uh, thank you for putting up with me this, this far. And I hope all this makes sense. Here's to your true essence. God bless.